swoosh. Team builder being down makes me so sad. If you stick around for the game against the FCS team, you'll see the biggest mistake that is just a meme now with the Gorge University team. Because when I created them, the, the nickname was supposed to be the Seals, and that's in the end zone. But then I realized there was no Seal logos in the game or Seal Lions or anything, and I changed it to the Sharks, but I forgot to change the name in the end zone. So our end zones say Seals, which realistically makes no sense. But I've just um, joked it off as being a clerical error that the university is too cheap to pay to fix. I feel like that's awful timing too, because Team Builder was up up until like, gosh, what was it, hybrid like a week ago, probably. At least that's or maybe a little bit longer than that, but they had some issues with the servers with like um, rosters and stuff, and then those got fixed, and then boom, Team Builder gets hit. I'm not sure. Okay, I like that. Good way to explain that away. Four weeks? Has it been four weeks? No way. Wow, apparently I made this team over a month ago then. Okay, first game of the season. Down in Corvallis at Reeser Stadium. At Reeser's Bleachers. Taking on the, uh, the Beavers of Oregon State. Let's see if I have this picture still. Somewhere in all my photos is where you want the ball first. If I scroll through all the stuff from the Pacific Crest Trail, got a photo, it's not a good photo, from the Beavers game against Stanford last year. Managed to get onto the field. We're going to start off the, the season with an option. And Jared Red, the new starter for the year. He was our, like, fourth stringer or something last year. Picks up six yards on first down. And since we're running the air raid playbook right now, we're going to go to air on second down. That's a bad throw for me, but the robot catches it for two yards. We got a third and one. Gonna go with the dive. First attempt at a third down conversion of the season. Give it to Red. He gets a great block. And <laughs> ten yards up the middle. That's the sort of luck that we're gonna want for the rest of the year as we wave our American flags. I've always said that Corvallis is a foreign country, and uh, our cheerleaders apparently agree with me. Kind of go up the middle again. Get three yards on first down here. And on second, we're going back to the air. We're going to have Bo Ramsey, the fullback, stay back in pass coverage. B. Lacey. David Lacey. Yeah, he's a freshman. I was going to say, I don't recognize that. He's the uh, four star re receiver that we recruited heavily in the offseason. He comes up with his first catch of his career, and it's a big one. First 
Clemson 10 inside the Beavers territory going with the play action here. Cleveland's gonna scramble outside. I don't like what I was seeing. I'm feeling a little blind right now. Gonna give us a second down. And positive yardage. So with all that space, now that we're on the right hash, we're gonna go with the toss play. Gonna move the beans to over. For an extra blocker. Red can't quite. I timed that a little wrong. I thought 55 was going to have that guy on the block, but we still get three yards. Mildly long, third and six. With the Beavers, 33 coming up. We're going to go with the slant route. Beavers bring some pressure over the middle. I've got the Beanster. 13 yards, almost inside the red zone. And we're uh, methodically making our way down the field right now. Should be able to at least put up some points. Our kicker improved quite a bit in the offseason. As Red's going to lose a yard. Kind of felt like I was going to get blown up. Swoosh, the only problem I can see with that conference is that's a lot of travel time for those teams. It's like a guaranteed trip to Alaska for each team. Lee Blanket ship. It might be a, he's a junior or a senior this year. Makes a good catch, gives us a third and four. We've been perfect in the air so far. Gonna run our first counter here on third down. See if Jared Red can pick this up. Kind of tempted to audible onto a throw here, but I'm just going to go with it. And he just gets stuffed at the, at the uh, line of scrimmage. Fourth and three. Head coach is going to call the field goal. We're going to see if we can put up points early against our power five out of conference team. And he drills it. Except that the defense, who I don't control, is able to do something. Gosh. Uh, I would love to see a conference with uh, Alaska and, and Hawaii in it. Oregon State goes down and scores seven on our defense. Let's back to us to try to bring this back. We're going to the triple option. And Red bowls forward and picks up the first down, but there's a flag. It's probably a clipping. Personal foul. Yep. Offense. That's going to bring us back. So you got Still first down. <laughs> Just pays for everybody. That's, I like it. Well, we've got another first down here, and uh, we haven't really taken a shot downfield, so we're running the four verts here. See if anybody can get open. Lee Blankenship has separation, but I'm not able to throw it far enough in front of him. <coughs> and we uh, go with, get the second and ten. Gonna go with the read option. Red takes it again. And gets almost the first down. Nine and some change. Leaves us a short third down. So we're going to go with another dive play up the middle. Our offensive line has done a pretty solid job so far. And they hold again as the Dingleberry gets four yards. Good news is we promised he'd play in nine games. This is his first. So as long as he doesn't get injured, he is our second string back. We should see him in every game. Josh Dingle with the counter here. Block gets picked up. He gets almost around the edge. But the end gets him. Oh, swoosh. Oh, that's crazy. I, um, I was thinking about going. Uh, mainly for the classic Tetris World Championship. But if uh, game day wasn't going to Pullman, 
I would probably... What an overthrow. Holy shit. I, it was a bad read for me to begin with, but Cleveland just throws the ball half a mile in front of his guy. <laughs> they get a pick six. Uh, not great. Anyways, I was going to go to that con this weekend, but uh, I think I'm going to be driving out to Pullman tomorrow to witness the crazy game day that they're going to have. <clears throat> yes, we're out in Hood River. Where Gorge University is out in Hood River. Playing in the fictional Hood River Bowl. Capacity 50,000. Or like 12 times the town. Something like that. No. Seven times the town size. So far, no kids from the Dallas have decided to come play for us, though, so that's a bummer. Red has another good run, <laughs> which has been about the only thing that's been successful so far. Not that I'm complaining, but it would be nice if our air raid team could throw a little bit better. That might be my fault choosing a scrambling quarterback, but I don't want to hear any of it. David Lacey, the freshman, makes his second catch. Yeah. Hey. Damn near neighbors. I was actually just up in Vancouver like a week ago. Maybe two weeks at this point. Small world, huh? You're one of the smart ones, though. Living in the metro area. But not having to pay uh, sales tax in Washington. Not having to pay that income tax. It's a genius. Uh, we are moving here. Now in the second quarter. That's crazy. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah. There's nothing that I don't love about the gorge. Other than the Fred Meyer out there in the Dallas. It's not a good one. Uh, as Josh Dingle gets a grab. We're driving pretty well right now, but this is kind of where the last drive stalled. We're inside the red zone now. Let's see if we can make more than a field goal out of this. We have two incompletions right now. One of them is a pick six. Cleveland's going to keep it for about the first time. Picks up a yard. We're going to see if we can continue to get some yardage here. Going with the toss play again. Oh, they closed out. I'm a Dodgers fan. Hoping for the best. Oh my gosh. That man ran through two people and destroys Red in the backfield. We got a third and 14 here. Beanster's crossing across the middle. X is open. It's Leon Battle, but I'm late on the throw. And that gets intercepted too. Oh. Hey, you know, I've um, uh, become okay with the fact that I will, I since I've been born, teams that I root for will have never, or will never win a championship. Like I'm an accidental curse. Um, I'm a Niners fan, so I, I mean, technically, I was born like a couple months before the Niners won their last Super Bowl. 
Um, I'm a Dodgers fan, so I haven't seen that, and I've seen them lose in the World Series. I'm a Ducks fan, so I've seen a couple losses in the Natty. Um, what else? I'm a Blazers fan, so they won their single championship before I was born. Uh, meanwhile, my dad, who's a fan of all of these teams, has seen all but the Ducks win. So good for him. Second and six near midfield again. I'm just going to lob it up. Let Lee Blankage to do his thing. Ooh, a Browns fan. That's tough. That is tough. You got, you got the Baker, though. That's exciting. The only sports team that I could, like, kind of consider myself a fan of that's done well is the Timbers. But I'm only, like, a mild fan of soccer and um, when I do care, it's usually not about the MLS. Third and ten here. Probably should throw something other. Ooh, yeah, if uh, if I was going to be a fan of an NHL team as they get the, di the diving pick off the tip, uh, it would probably be Vegas or the Mighty Ducks. Because somewhere I'm sure I have some photos of me at a Mighty Ducks game, but the NHL's never one that I could fully get into. That really is, though, like everywhere. On the That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Oklahoma, and you live in Vancouver, though. Surrounded by Pac 12 fans. The tight end, the beanster wide open over the middle on the tight end seam. Gets us 44 yards, and maybe we can score here in the second half. Somehow our defense has held up pretty well. We've only allowed seven points to Oregon State, and the other seven was for my pick six. Decent blocking. We'll get four yards there on first. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. There you go. Good reasons as ever. That's that's how I felt with uh, Vegas as well. Like if I was going to be a fan of a team, it's got to be the new one. That looked like a face mask. Fourth and three. I'm going to say we got to go for this. I'm going to say screw you, coach. We need something to happen here. If we're going to have a shot in this game. Let's see if we can do something here. The Beanster. Oh! I lobbed it in there. He had time, but... Couldn't hold on to the ball through contact. Still 14 to three, we got the ball at decent position. Yeah, I was surprised. Like they didn't lose a, uh, a game in the playoffs until the finals, right? I feel like I remember seeing that. Would have been crazy. Oh, Derek Battle gets kind of hit there on the on the cross. Isn't able to catch up to where the ball is thrown. We're at a third and seven here. 
tempted to try that slip screen, but I don't trust it fully. A swoosh, thanks for the follow. We're gonna see what we can do here. Beavs bring a little bit of pressure. Oh, that was just a bad pass for me, but it gets swatted down. Oof. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. See if our defense can hold on. They do. If I could just score, we would have a shot in this game. Goal line. Red breaks a big one. Gets us out of any sort of worry about the safety. Let's see what we can do. I gotta start throwing more, but uh, so far it hasn't really worked out. I find Lee over the middle for five yards there. This is do or die time as we're nearing the end of the third. Gotta score soon. It's only two scores, two touchdowns. Puts us in position to win the game. Oh, as I just had a little stroke there. And uh, ran right into the defender. Instead of getting the first down, we got a third and one here from our own 27. We should have it on the dive though, and we do. But there's a flag, it's probably gonna be a holding. It is, it's gonna give us a third and 10 to deal with. Oh, I guess it was for the Denthia. Third and eight. Still third down. That's a little bit more difficult than just having the first down. Why is it going to be open if he cuts, but I timed that wrong and I throw it straight to the DB. There's no way Oregon State doesn't score here. That's going to force us to get two touchdowns. that three touchdowns um, this is gonna be a problem even with the keeper I've got to basically be in full full hurry up for the remainder of this game I feel like going with the counter here Ooh, I'm audibling out of that He's gonna take a shot the beanster holds on to that one gets us a first down <laughs> no kidding. If only we had Team Builder. Second and three, the Bean Circuit's another one. That'll bring up second and three. Can I go with the Reed? Oh, we don't get the playoff before the uh, quarter ends. Fourth quarter! Down three touchdowns. If I don't turn the ball over, there's a chance. Really, Oregon State's only scored off of my offensive ineptitude. As B is streaking. Who is it? It's the new boy, Lacey. Not able to get it to him, though. Third and three. I'm going to have to put it on the ground here. Make sure that we pick this up. it to Dingle. He buries his way forward. Gets us the yardage and a first down. And boy do we need points in a hurry. I like Lacey's route here. And he gets out of bounds after another 20 yards. Oh definitely someone just made something like that. I'm going to take a shot here on first down. Uh, going to put it up for the Beanster. <laughs> he outruns this man. And we're, we've started this comeback. This fourth quarter comeback. Coach wants us to uh, go for the two-point conversion. 
make this a little bit easier on ourselves, I guess. Going with the read. Cleveland's gonna keep it. And this game's not over yet. Only down 10. Touchdown and a field goal will do it. Defense continues to stop them. We've got plenty of time. If we score quick again here, I have no worries. This is what our offense is based off of, his uh, comebacks. Oh, that's a pick. Yep, never mind. Oh, I thought I was going to... Uh, I don't know what I thought I was doing. If we're lucky, the clipping will be on them. Ugh. They might score a field goal only here if we're lucky. But worse than that, they're able to train some more time off the clock. That was a terrible mistake on my part. Thought he was going to be sneaking past that guy. He was not. And I've basically just got to try to force throws at this point. Four and a half minutes left. Down 13. Ugh. I put myself in a hole and threw. Continued the Cleveland special, which is throwing half a million picks in a game. Lee Blankenship gets us to about midfield, though. We can make these drive quick if we have... Good completions for first downs only. And I'm going to scramble outside the pocket, and I'm going to take off. I'm going to give Cleveland all that space. We're going to do that. This seam option gave us a touchdown, I think, the last time we played. Let's see if the Beanster can continue. Or Wally Fuller, Mr. Roboto himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the, the good part. I mean, it is still Cleveland, though, so, like, you know. It's, it's based in reality a little bit. For the city more so. Not the play I want. I gotta get this ball off. Oh, that's a bad pass. The Beanster gets out there, though. Oof. We are driving. Three and a half minutes left now. If we score here, I feel relatively confident. Oh, I'm in a shitty goal line formation. They bring some pressure. I'm just throwing this one away. Oh, I forgot that we were in the goal line when I went into the uh, hurry up. Didn't like my options there. Third and two. Just under three and a half. Let's see if we can get someone open in the, in the end zone here. I've got faith. Oh, Bo Ramsey. Oh. I thought he was going to grab that off the tip. I don't get that lucky. As odd as it seems, I'm going to call a read here. We've had success running the option. If I can, I'm going to slide Bo out. Help block on that corner. Cleveland has the first down, gets us inside the five. Whew. This is a little spooky, time-wise. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't see that pressure coming. <laughs> we get drilled. We lose nine yards, and the clock's going to keep moving. I was completely oblivious to the man flying straight up the middle, and potentially a blessing in disguise is how I'm going to look at this with... Uh, our quarterback Cleveland going down. Osborne comes in at quarterback. 
Hey, the read, read is a uh, miraculous play. So I'm just chucking it up. <laughs> and the running back, Dingleberry himself, brings it in. Makes it a five, six point game. We have the ball back with a minute 44 and one timeout to try and win this game. Starting it at our own 20. We're going to start in the air. I see the Beanster going. Oh, please. No, no, no. I usured him. Oh. Can't do that. Can't do that. I'm off with that. Wait, wait, what? What? D. Lacy. That's a wide receiver. Oh. Not in a good spot here. Deontay Osborne, though, is a better thrower. So I don't feel awful about the situation that we're in. And Leon, again, gets kind of caught up on his man running that slant. And isn't able to get free. I think he would have been open there. And we're in a third and ten. I don't like that. Not one bit. I was thinking about running at that play, but... Uh, we got stuck with what we got stuck with. Bean is kind of open, and he falls forward and gets us a first down. Oh, I'm really liking the Beanster here. He is big and shiny. Get a playoff quick here. Clock is running, less than a minute and a half. I'm going to leave it out for red, but he doesn't get the first down. Which means the clock's going to keep moving on our second and short. There's a chance here. I like X. I like that route. I'm going to throw it behind the running back, though. He was wide open for the first down. But I uh, can't get it to him. Third and three. I would love to run it here. But we need this time. Bo Ramsey, the fullback, catches it. Isn't able to get the first down, fourth and one. Oh, this is a brutal spot to be in. We're going to go with the read option. Gonna move Bo out to the tight end spot. Oh, Osborne's going to keep it. He's got the first and a little bit more. Oh, we're still alive with 41 seconds to go. At midfield. Oh, my gosh. I thought for sure that we were tackled behind the line of scrimmage there. Oh, I didn't mean to hit A. Oh, it's almost disastrous. Oh, I hit the wrong button there. Whew. Clock is stopped with 35 seconds. Oh, we're not even, we're at the 49 and a half. Edwards is streaking, but I don't throw it far enough. Oh, I don't have the arm strength. He was wide open. Better throw power. And that would have absolutely been a touchdown. We're under 30 seconds to go in this game. It feels brutal right now. Third and ten. Playing for a little bit of position here. Hit Pat uh, Beverly. I don't remember. I think it's Patrick Beverly. He's breaking free. Oh my God! It's a 51-yard touchdown with less than 30 seconds to go in the game. It's tied up, pending the extra point. The kick is up. He got it. What a crazy ending. I don't have control over the defense, so we're going to uh, sim through these 12 seconds left. 
at their own 25. They have all three timeouts, so the game isn't completely over. They only have to get to field goal range. But our defense has played really well. It's almost intercepted! Oh! Bilu, thanks for the follow. I'm glad you were able to witness that. Oh, second and ten, eight seconds left. I can't believe we almost intercepted that. I'd love to see some pressure on the QB. Oh my gosh, a ringing three. Quarterback's scrambling, he gets hit with four seconds left, third and six. Beavers take their first time out. They don't really have time to take three more. This is basically the last play of the game. Did we manage to pull this off on a crazy third and ten? He's throwing it deep. Are you kidding me? scored on a Hail Mary last play of the game. <laughs> Never have I been hurt so bad. Oh. The defense just gets demolished on the <laughs> when we need it the most. We're starting the season 0-1 as a result. I'm so hurt. The last play of the game. Oh, if I would have just simmed through it without watching it, would it have happened? What a terrible time. <laughs> the Beavers escape one at home <sighs> at least we have the number one instant classic <sighs> oh it hurts we took the one point lead with 18 seconds to go in the game and on a 71 yard pass they're able to, oh, they're able to win it. Oh, it hurts so bad. That's, oof, one of the few Hail Marys I've ever seen work. And it has to come at that moment against us. I mean, we did have five turnovers, so like, you know, we should <laughs> we shouldn't have been in that position to begin with. <laughs> but we get absolutely blasted. Oh what a terrible way to start the season. We gotta hope for the best now as we go home and play our FCS team. Oh and one. Brutal. I'm gonna put some points into these high rank guys on our first week. See if we can get any of them leaning our way before we just give up on getting great recruits for this season. Oh. I'm hurt. Very hurt. Alright. We're gonna weed out who wants to come and who doesn't with this first week of recruiting. Hope that we can bounce back from the devastating loss at the hands of the Beavers. Ugh. Oh. 
It's an Oregon State game right there, I'll tell you what. I <laughs> just, I'm stunned. <laughs> this feels like uh, the game that we played against Hawaii two years ago. Fatefully known as the jet lag. I'm not sure of a good way to show the jet lag. Oh, here's how we show the jet lag. It's somewhere out here. That's the jet lag up there in the top right. Caused us to lose the game against Hawaii. We broke our quarterback, Ashley Tolbert, on a play action. He somehow survives his uh, paralysis and then s scrambles and fumbles it, giving the ball up. And we lost that game as well. Regardless, we have to move forward. Hope for the best.